Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do the weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio. How you doing, gang? I hope everyone had a wonderful week. We're going to get right into this. This is a general reading, so take it resonates. Leave the rest and you already know what to do. Love shows up, reverse rules as needed, okay? Your overall energy, Scorpio, is the Three of Cups, okay? You're going to be reuniting with someone or you're going to have a celebration this week, okay? We were under that... Um, New moon and cancer yesterday, you know, the effects of the moons are three days before and three days after. So you still got time to get those affirmations in, set your goals, set your intentions, and um, put up a nice prayer, okay? The universe is here to help you up under that new moon and cancer, okay? All right. What's going on with the cancer collective? I mean, Scorpio collective. <laughs> What's going on with the Scorpio collective this week of July 16, 2023? Well, whenever they are guided to this video, thank you. We got the Six of Cups, and that wanted to come out in reverse, and it didn't hit me in the chest, so that's in reverse. This is, okay, something's coming to pass right now. Okay, Nine of Pentacles got to do with business or uh, a single energy. What's going on with the Scorpios this week? Those that have subscribed to the channel, thank you. Those who like our videos and share our videos, thank you. And those that are divinely guided, we got nine cups. Okay, good stuff. Two nines. Thank you. In the world. At the bottom of the deck, we got the king of wands. Okay, that's that selfish king doing what's right for them. Very protective, loving. Okay, let's look at what, what two nines mean. Y'all know I like to look that stuff up. Two nines is receipt. Okay. Somebody's going to have some receipts, huh? Six of Cups. Why is this here for the Scorpio Collective? Why is the Six of Cups in reverse? Something that's going to happen right now. You're going to get your clarity with the Ace of Swords, okay? So you're going to gain some clarity or you're, or you're going to cut somebody off. Yeah, look like you're going to cut somebody off doing what's right for you, Scorpio. Look at there. Mm-hmm. Nine of Pentacles, why is this here for the Scorpio Collective? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Okay, we got the Eight of Swords. I want to look at the Nine of Pentacles again, see the other meanings. It's success and accomplishment also, and it's safety and uh, discernment and self-love. Okay. So you feel like your accomplishments aren't happening right now? Queen of Cups and the Ten of Swords. You need to be more nurturing to yourself, Scorpio. Okay? Be nicer to yourself. Don't speak ill or negative to yourself. Okay? We need one more card, though. Okay? Okay, because this could be, it looks like you're having trouble um, attaining your success right now or something. Give us one more card. Further clarify, thank you. Oh, but it's all in divine timing. That's exactly what I thought it was. See, you feel like you're working on your accomplishments, but it's taking so long. You feel like it's not moving fast enough. But you're being told that it's all in divine timing. Just keep putting the work in, Scorpio. Good stuff. Shoot, I need to hear that too. <laughs> I got a lot going on. Nine of Cups. Why is this here? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Thank you. Okay, Temperance in Reverse. Oh, I don't know what that is at all. Sagittarius Energy. Temperance is, what they say, 14. Okay, depleted. Depleted, having a need for restoration. You need to rest. There's some, some tension in your body and you're being asked to release them. Okay? Because you're almost to your completion, but you're feeling stressed. That, that was shown to us with the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. But you're almost to completion. You need to just take a break. Take a step back, Scorpio. Take a step back. You know, go out with the girls or something. Go to the gym, go take a walk, go go out in nature. Do what you got to do. Yeah. You 
got to take care of yourself before you have some sort of regrets. You got to take a break. You can't push so hard. This message is for me. <laughs> Just, you got to take a break. <laughs> Stop pushing so hard or you might regret it, okay? But that's what it's saying, because you're almost here with your film, and you just, just got to pace yourself, Scorpio, okay? The world. Why is this here? The Scorpio energy. Okay, look. You're going to have success. It's coming. You just, you got to pace yourself. You can't keep pushing so hard, you know? And that's what I'm seeing. And you're going to gain that clarity that you need this week, because that's, that's the come to pass right now. You're going to gain some sort of clarity. Okay? And that's why it's going to be a reason to uh, celebrate. Those goosebumps are real. Anything else for the Scorpio energy in this reading? Anything else for the Scorpio energy in this reading? Yeah, I needed to hear that too. Stop pushing so hard. Yeah. Nine of Swords. You're stressing. You're not getting your rest that night, Scorpio. You got to get some sleep. Five of Pentacles in reverse. What is that? What's the Five of Pentacles? In reverse. Disorder and chaos. Stop giving the things that Make you feel less than. That's what you're being told. Stop stressing. It's probably in relationships. Stop giving the things that make you feel less than. People don't appreciate you. Leave them alone. Okay? People don't appreciate you. Leave them where they at. Stop giving the things that don't serve you. And they got you all stressed out. Anything else for the Scorpio Collective? We are going to go to the Kipper. Because this is mostly about business. Okay. Oh, then as soon as I say that, then it comes the four of wands. So basically, it's saying, you know, it's, that basically, stop giving to this relationship. Whatever relationship you guys are in, stop giving to that relationship because it's, you're not feeling fulfilled or appreciated or something. Okay. So you want to stop giving to that. Yeah, go ahead and put an end to it. Everything's going to be fine. Okay. Last time around, we're going to go to the Kipper, the Scorpio Collective. Okay, judgment. Judgment has been passed or is going to be passed this week, okay? All right, you may be at a crossroads about this, letting this person go. You're going to be so admired, though, Scorpio. I want to go to the Kipper for you guys. Yeah, so as far as love is telling you, stop giving the things to make you feel less than. Whether that's a, a friendship, a relationship. But you, you're being told to take a break from um, pushing so hard as far as work goes. We're going to the Kipper. Anything for the Scorpio energy in this reading? Let's get a message for them. For the Scorpio energy in this reading, they feel like they just can't do it. Pushing so hard, things aren't going as they as they hoped. High honor. It's a wonderful card. That's a card of success. Lovers. Okay. Good stuff. Love still came out. Okay. Message of concern and a message. Okay. You may be receiving a message from a lover. Okay. Despair. Okay. Let's get some more. So this looks like it may not be any good news. Adjudication. Somebody may have to go to court about something. Scorpio collector. This energy in this reading. Anything else? Okay, mature woman, that could be you, or um, a mother, auntie, 
system. What else we got? So we can put this together. Thank you. Purpose lady. Okay. And that could be you. And main female, look at all these women. That could be you also. I'm, I'm getting like this is a. I don't. I don't like the way that's looking. Prisonment at the bottom. You're going to have some success. Okay. In love. That's what I'm seeing. And then these messages are starting to come in. Messages of concern. That uh, cause you some despair. I need to look at that, that 32. Let me look at that. What is despair? Okay. okay, unfortunately, this is not a very um, promising card unless surrounding cards mitigated. Okay, there ain't really nothing really going on there. Okay, you may be uh, tortured by worries and stress. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. This message is coming in. It's not good. You have a message of concern and message. Okay, it's going to be coming in the, in the mail, it looks like, to me. It doesn't really look like a text message or something. It looks like you're really doing physical mail. It's about to come to you. And it's going to cause you some despair. It's going to cause you stress. It says it's, it, despair either describes a relationship that is characterized by trouble or you suffer from a heavy workload or fear of job loss. There it is. Because that's what's going on. This is all about work and how stressed and overloaded you are. Okay? And then to go into the adjudication as somebody helping resolve an issue or disagreement of some sort. Okay? And then we got all these women here. We got the mature woman, the privileged woman, and the main female. Okay, so this, I'm, I'm feeling family here. Like a mother and some sisters. Maybe that's the people you're working for, Scorpio. Could be your family. Let's try this. These women here, mature women, privileged lady, and main female. Can you give us a breakdown of what this is about? What is this talking about? What is the kid we're talking about? This mature woman, privileged lady, and main female. Thank you. Towards some sort of surprise, or you're being told to be brave. Thank you. Be brave and do what's right for you. Because the hard part is over now. Okay, it's time to move forward. So you got to stand up to the mature woman, which may be your mother or your boss. 
This privileged lady is the, is the selfish king of wands and the ten of swords is you. You had to deal with these people. Probably all your life because I, I still feel family. And, and, you're, and, you're, and now the hard part is over because you found out some truth. You found out some truth. And you're going to be admired on how you move forward, Scorpio. Yeah, moving away from this toxicity. Okay, this goes back to the tarot when it said uh, to uh, don't give to uh, stop giving the things that make you feel less than. If this is your mother and your sister or whatever, that's what it looks like to me. And, and, and they, they look down at you like you Cinderella. Get rid of them toxic people. That's that's what I'm seeing. It's, it's the end of it. Put up your boundaries. You ain't got to get rid of them, but put boundaries up so that people know how to deal with you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It looks like you're going to come out on top, Scorpio. No matter what. I can't make these cards up. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> this week, you're going to put an end to it. You're going to set your boundaries with your, with your siblings or mother and sister or whoever that them people are. You're going to set your boundaries with them. You're going to have a high honor and, and you're going to have your contentment. The hard part is over. Good stuff. We'll go here and then we're going to get out of here. Scorpio Collective. Any messages for them? Thank you. This energy in this reading. Set your boundaries. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Just be grateful. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Perfect card for this reading. Good stuff. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Uh, so be thankful for the now. Be grateful, Scorpio. Make sure to take a break. You can't push hard every day, all day. It's going to tear you down. You got to relax. I think I'm going to do that this evening. Watch me a movie. I'm going to just sit down and just watch a movie. Yeah, it's needed. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. If you took anything from this reading, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys soon. Have a wonderful week. Take care.